if you run a terminal command, the output has to go somewhere, right? For example, ls is how you look around on a terminal. The output is printed to your terminal screen. So in this case, standard out is printed to our terminal window right here. Now we can also make an error message come up by doing slash not here. And that's not a directory that exists, so it gives me this error message. Now this error message is actually printed to standard error which in this case is also the terminal window. But they are actually separate pipes. You can separate them. Uh, let me show you. We have printed to the screen a standard message and printed to the screen a standard error message. Let's go ahead and manipulate them a little. So ls, now greater than, this is redirect character is how we put stuff into a file. So ls, redirect to a arbitrary file. Let's do a file in this directory called out.txt. And you'll notice there's no output because the program ls, instead of printing its standard output to the screen, it printed its standard output to this file. I'm gonna cat that file, which just prints out its content it just says whatever ls said. Let's go back to our not here example. If we redirect that to the same file, you'll see it still prints the error message because we only redirected standard out to the file, not standard error. Um, and all the messages were to standard error. So, if we want to redirect both, you put an ampersand in front of the greater than sign. And that says redirect both standard error and standard out. Okay, so if we just want to redirect standard error, we can replace that with a 2. And since everything is an error, everything still went to out.txt. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the main ways to print to a file. But what if we want to make the output of one program the input of another? That's done with a pipe. So let's do something valid, like ls dot slash. Just ls is simpler, whatever. Right, ls, and then we're going to pipe that into another program. Let's do grep. And since grep is a searching tool, let's search for something that we have. How about rpm? So we run ls, which prints this stuff to standard out, but that stuff's redirected into grep, which searches for rpm in this case. And we get a nice filtered output of these files. So that's one of the use cases for redirecting to a program. You could also redirect it to, let's say, cut. Let's say all of these had a period. Oh. Oh, here's a great idea. We can do grep for a period. So anything that has an extension. Okay. I had to put a backslash in front of that because it was doing regular expressions and in regular expressions dots one dot means match any character. So here is ls filtered down to all of the things that have a dot or an extension. Now we can pipe that stuff over to cut, tell it to cut on. I don't know if it's gonna do the same thing, but let's try it. The delimiter of period, and we want the field to, so the last part. Okay, cool. So this runs ls, which gives us all of the files. We pipe that to grep, which searches for anything that has an extension. Then we pipe that to cut, which cuts off that extension. There are a couple product files and a couple text files in this directory. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.